So what are the three pillars of buying a house? In this video, we're gonna talk about what that exactly means. What is your credit, what is your income, and what is your down payment? Just remember, strong pillars support weak pillars. Meaning, if you have high credit, but let's just say you don't have a down payment saved, it's gonna make it easier for you to get a house than someone who has bad credit and no money saved up. So we talk about the three pillars because pillars, just like a chair, that could not stand or a stool that could not stand with only one or two legs we have to make sure all three are strong to support you and what you're trying to do so for instance one of my clients aaron he came to me and he needed to get a house but he didn't have a good credit and he did not have a down payment saved up so going through the happy method going through the home pre-approval prosperity estimate we were able to get his credit score up and we were able to get him qualified for the down payment assistance program the usda which is a hundred percent financing so there's different types of programs we have the fha we have conventional we have a usda we have a va so if you're a veteran watching this there are as you may well already know you can get a hundred percent financing for so we'll cover that in the next video so using the happy method going through this process will give you a clear understanding of what those three pillars are and what we need to do to get your credit up what do we how much money you need to make and what down payment options are available to you and what determines really what loan program is good